like spinning the camera around. Let's see, look over here. I make unusual things for no reason. <laughs> Straight up survival of the apocalypse. Doomsday. All those bad words. <laughs> All those scary things. Uh, whatever keeps you up at night. I haven't done anything for like, I guess I could do vampire defense, chupacabra, sasquatch, <laughs> whatever it is. Uh, I make unusual knife sheaths and gun holsters and, and all kinds of things like that. And I don't, I don't really do any of the like fold up stuff and, you know, simple stuff that's just, Hey, I'm just going to put this knife on, you know, uh, the, the knife has to come with stuff. <laughs> so I have a box, another, another box, one life, one knife made a hundred and I think it's 110%. Is that what the, <laughs> 110%. They support me, so you go support them and buy a knife from Topps Knives. They make the best. Best knives on the planet. I'm dropping stuff. That's blade oil. <laughs> I'm not going to get that right now. No, this comes with blade oil. Uh, this is one of their very, it's 101%. Uh, this is one of their very popular knives. It's an eagle line that they have. Screaming Eagle type stuff. This one is crazy. This is one of my favorites. Yeah, this is a Steel Eagle, and it, they make a variety of these. That's why I've got to kind of like give you... I'm going to break it down in just a minute. I'm still got the plastic on. I should probably pull that off. I? You're not going to like it. You're going to be like, hey, what's all that plastic doing on there? Wow, that's really nice. They do such a great job. They make really nice sheaths, but I'm going to change that today because... We're weird here. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's got this nice little jipping thing going on here. That's really cool. I like that. Very combat. It's a combat fighting knife right here. I mean, that's what I would consider it. They make these in Tano as well. So you can see like in the sheath, they already have the line cut. So you could, you know, different knife for uh, different purposes. It's got a nice bleed bar here a lot of folks don't know what a bleed bar is but it's got a nice bleed bar this is the if you want this one with the nice you know you could use this for skinning uh, you have a nice very nice saw you might be familiar with this from the uh, hunter tracker style many others that they actually have this style done look at the thickness of that it's insane made in the usa i gotta show that Nice handle, nice grip. Couple of holes back here for lanyards for your wrist. You got a nice hole up here. Uh, but that 105C, 105C is the one you're going to want if you want this one. It's the 105C. So just remember that. And that's their Steel Eagle, and these are cool. Uh, well, I want to do something else. I don't want to do just. A knife. I'll show you the knife in a minute. I want to add the judge. I want to make like an executioner style rig. <laughs> Zombies? No problem. Apocalypse? Someone's a looter in a riot? No problem. You know what I mean? So currently in this one here is Hornady Critical Defense. This thing shoots great. I mean, freaking, I know a lot of you out there are probably like, Smith & Wesson, you got to get the governor. It's okay. Uh, we all have different styles. Uh, a lot of folks don't know that when you shoot one of these, you need to make sure that you're not putting shotgun style 410 ammo in it because that backing will actually expand. Uh, that brass will expand. And it won't cycle the next round. That's the problem. Because there's such a thin barrier on the judge back here that that's the defect with the judge. Is you can't just fire any 410 shotgun shells out of it. Uh, I've been carrying mine for years and years and years. It was one of the first EDC videos I did. And uh, a lot of folks don't know about 
all the different stuff with that thing. So let's go over here and take a look. All right, so your overall length here, let's say it's, uh, let's bring it down here so we can see it a little bit better. Uh, we've got, it is a little, the blade length is a little bit more than five inches and the overall length, 10.5 would be your overall length. I had to grab something longer to measure it out. So we got this wicked knife and now we have to incorporate other stuff. So I, I just do a little bit of figuring out options for when I'm carrying this and some other thing 22 so now it's no longer the judge it's the 22 so all is whatever you want to shove in there you know what I mean now you have converted your judge to a nine see what I mean isn't that cool some days it could be camping you know so not every day you're going to run into Negan and Lucille or anything so you just got to make sure that you're prepared and that's all it boils down to I like making weird stuff so hopefully this thing's dried out pretty good uh, but the way I've got this set up here you can put in your pistol and you can put in, let's say, just put in our ferro rod. I made a slot over here, it's like a hiding place. And you can put in a ferro rod right there. And then over here, it's a double sheath. So what you do is you you make you make one sheath that is for the, the pistol. And then you make the other sheath for the knife. And then you just, you're putting them together. But I made a secret hiding place inside here. So, uh, you can put in the full size ferro rod, you know, for camping or whatever, and then just put in the knife. Just do a little snug. There we go. And bring your snaps over. There you go, snaps. And then I got this to where it goes over. Just like that. 
back there. Ta da! And yeah, anyway, like that. I'll bring you over here so you can see it better. Check that out. I think it turned out nice. And I don't have to have this over here, but it's multi cord, so you got your pair of cord. Cordage is always hard to find when you're uh, when you're trying to survive. So it's hard to make cord. So it's always good to have something and there's also some fire cord and fishing line and snare wire and all that stuff inside of it too. So you got all those different options. I went ahead and put the T-Rex stamp on there. Uh, nice handy dandy little kit. Uh, the knife stays tucked and out of the way as you can see because the sheath actually comes in line with the snap here. So the knife doesn't interfere with drawing the pistol. So you would just reach over and uh, the retention strap here is just, uh, I like to add the retention strap so nobody can just come up behind you and grab your gun, you know, yank it or whatever. The, the tension strap is pretty good. So it's always good to do that and bring it up in behind your hammer uh, like that. Uh, I've never done, this is the first time doing a uh, full size style uh, pistol uh, in the mix with a full size style knife. So. This is the first, and uh, I think it turned out really good. I'm actually digging it. <laughs> but anyway, uh, please share uh, the ideas, and hopefully this gives you an idea. I get ideas all the time, and people will contact me. I don't make um, easier stuff like, can you make a knife sheath for my Mora? I don't really do stuff like that. It's all weird. Everything I do is unusual. And that's the whole purpose of it. You can like it or you don't like it. Uh, uh, you can pick a different gun. You know what I mean? You don't want, you, you know, say you don't like Judge or whatever. You want a governor or something. You, you make it your way. You know what I mean? You pick the item. You put it together. Uh, it could be a little 9 mil or something. You know, you've, you've got your own, uh, your own style. This just gives you an idea of how to get it done. Uh, because this is what you want. And uh, it, I'm just here to give you ideas. Um. I know I get offers for weird stuff like, uh, you know, Sling Blade contacted me the other day, wanted me to uh, make a knife sheath for his uh, lawnmower blade, and uh, I had to uh, had to pass that one up. But uh, you never know uh, what kind of ideas you're going to come with. So uh, please share the videos and uh, subscribe if you're not already. And uh, God bless. Take care. Stay safe.